What's going on everyone, Cubologist here again, and today we're going to be covering the F permutation. Now recognizing this case is really easy. You can see that there's a bar on one side, and adjacent to that bar, these two pieces are going to be opposite. No matter what the bar is, these two are going to be opposite as well as the headlights on the opposing face, they're going to be opposite colors. So in order to execute this case, you want to put the bar on the left side and do this algorithm. R prime, U prime, F prime with your thumb, R, U, R prime, U prime, regrip, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U, push with your left index finger, R. And that will fix your case. So right in the middle of this algorithm, there is a block right after the F prime that is like right there. I'll actually highlight it for you. It's a lot like the T permutation, and it'll be really familiar to you if you know the T permutation. But that makes this case a lot easier to execute if you already know that, but if you don't, that's not a problem. But just keep that in mind if you're learning this algorithm and the T permutation because they have about eight or nine moves in common and it makes it really easy. Now, in order to do AUF with this case, it's another really simple one. Um, the bar is always correct and the opposing center is always correct. So it, you know if you've got, if you recognize it like this by seeing opposites here and there, you know that this needs to be uh, permuted in order to have no AUF, and you know that this needs to be permuted. So if you come across a case that looks like this, you already know it's the F permutation because you have a bar, these are opposite, and there's no headlights. So you wanna do the F permutation followed by a U, but it's always better to do it if it comes up to where you can just do the PLL, then do an AUF, rather than doing a U, then turning like that. So you do your F permutation, and then as soon as you're done, do that U and your cube will be solved. But I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know that the F permutation is one of my faster algorithms, even though it's pretty move heavy. But stay tuned to the series because the next episode will be all four G permutations. And that's actually pretty fun because I really like the G permutations. Some of them are really quick actually. But as always guys, you'll hear from me really soon. And thanks for watching. Bye.